Hi people, this is Angel from PRDB. Here I am. I want to show you guys how you can fix uh, your hard drive, and we will uh, we will teach you guys uh, ten ways to fix your hard drive. Uh, hard drive like this one. This is a PC computer hard disk, and it's damaged, and so we'll be working with this one. First of all, uh, for fixing a hard drive, uh, there are a couple of ways to fix your hard drive. Uh, with software or uh, physical fix and for this um, uh, you will need uh, a screwdriver uh, I don't think you will need anything else but that um, maybe later I'll be showing you guys maybe what, uh, how to fix your drive with other tools now let's get going to fix a hard drive like this one you will need your tools and you need a clean room to work with this drive you cannot be working with the drive outside <clears throat> where there is a lot of dust and that can damage uh, more the hard drive than it's already damaged uh, right now I'm going to show you guys how we can open this hard drive so you can first see what's inside of it uh, for, uh, before that you can fix uh, a hard drive that turns on well, with software, you can try to fix it with uh, with softwares. A lot of softwares that come for that. If you need to recover um, some data, picture, movies, or something that you can't recover, uh, we're getting it um, uh, normally on Windows. Uh, you will need a software for recovery data, uh, like R Studio uh, Data Recovery. And if you can try to make an image, uh, that will work too with the R Drive image. Uh, software those are a couple of ways that you can work fixing your drive on on uh, OS like on Windows with the software or something but nothing I'm gonna skip that part and I'm gonna keep going with the physical part uh, getting inside the hard drive and trying to fix anything that is damaged inside let's get going okay so now here we are once again. First of all, if you're gonna work with the hard drive, you need uh, plastic gloves on your hand. You cannot work with a cigarette just like uh, the way I'm doing right now. Uh, you need to use plastic uh, covers and everything. And you need a really clean room to work with a hard drive. Do not uh, try to work with a hard drive uh, outside your house. You need a clean, a really clean room for this. Uh, any dust that gets inside the hard drive can damage more the hard drive than it is already. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. Uh, to start opening the hard drive first. Uh, this hard drive is already fucked up, so you can throw it on the floor. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It won't work anyway. So let's start opening this drive. Now, I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna get off the motherboard, the board, sorry, motherboard, that's like I'm saying. The board for this, this is a hard drive board. These things, when they get damaged, you can change them uh, by the, the same model of the hard drive. And maybe, maybe your hard drive can boot up. Maybe you can see it in your BIOS, maybe you can get it inside uh, when you turn on Windows. You can get your data out. So we got four screws here. I just got the board out, as you can see. This is the board for the hard drive. There we go. Just keep it like this. Uh, now. Let's get to the real, uh, the real good part. Let's get inside the hard drive. You need to open top cover. You need to take out the screws. Remember each screws. Well, there you go. Because if you put it wrong, you will leave the cover open, and that uh, the hard drive can can get dust inside. And it could get damaged. We got three screws here, and we got a couple of screws down the stickers here. So let me try to check first where are the stickers, and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. 
So I got <coughs> the other parts where the screws are, and they are right here. I'm going to take these ones out. Uh, let's do this really quick. I just want to show you guys how you can fix your hard drive. Remember, remember, I'm trying to tell you guys to remember that you need a clean room for this. Because if you do it outside like I'm doing, you're going to fuck up the hard drive. It's about to rain outside, and that's worse. Remember not to fix a hard drive outside on the rain. Okay, so we got all the screws out. Take this out. Oh, wow, it's really, really tough. Huh? It's like there we go. Now you need to take the plate out, the, co the cover. And right here, you got your hard drive. This is the hard drive. Right here on this disc, you have all your data on, your music, your pictures, your movies, your windows. Everything is right here. Now, these, these this, this part that you see here, uh has magnets, has a couple of things that they are the one that reads the disc. Now this is not the only disc it has on the hard drive. It has a couple of discs. This one has two discs. Two discs inside. There's another one on the bottom. And we need to work with the disc. If you want to 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 remove this disc to put it into another hard drive that is the same model as this one so you can get your data out because maybe this hard drive doesn't turn on you need to be very caref uh, careful with this first of all for that we need to take uh, we need to pull this back from the hard drive and first we need to take this off so we can do that now get your screwdriver right here what you have on your top is a magnet it's really hard so just need to keep it uh, need to keep to be really careful with this because you can fuck something up and just turn it turn it out that's it and now you can pull this thing as you can see it can moves now take this off it goes back now as you can see we have the hard drive and the readers are not touching each other so now you can take out the disc. Now we need to take out this one right here. Oh, let me check the screws. I think it's this one. I'm sorry. Let me see. Yep, this is one. Now let's take this thing off. Now you need to be very careful. Careful. You cannot touch this. Uh, the hard drive or any dust anything that touches the disc it will be damaged forever so remember uh, try to work with it in a clean spot in a clean room with no dust right now we have two uh, two drops of water here so it doesn't matter at least not the water it doesn't matter with the water if you use some toilet paper to clean it up nothing will be damaged but if something else uh, gets to it like dust uh, maybe I don't know uh, something else that is not water it will get fucked up so let me get the toilet paper so we can clean it up so here I have toilet paper why we use toilet paper because it doesn't scratch the disc so it won't be damaged like that Got it. We can't touch this, so we need to touch the middle so we can hold on the disc from spinning. <laughs> Just pull it really easy. It has four drops of water. It's still raining out here. There you go. As you can see, it is really clean. You can't see the drops on it. 
there's nothing else, no uh, fingerprints, uh, nothing around it. Remember, if you're gonna use the toilet paper, you cannot use nothing else. Just uh, drop it on the top, just rub it a little bit, and that's it, nothing else. My freaking dog is uh, fucking up this tutorial, so anyway, I'm gonna leave, it, uh, leave him barking around. Here, first of all, you need something so you can hold on from here. You got two holes here. Well, I got, at least I got like six. Six holes and you got <clears throat> six screws here. You need uh, you need the proper equipment for this part working inside the hard drive. So you need that. You need to buy a kit, a hard drive kit, fixing kit for that. Uh, I just... Uh, Try to pull out the screws with this, and this is a bad idea because you can damage any part in any moment. If it drops off and scratches the disc, forget it. The hard drive is damaged, it doesn't work, it's not gonna work anymore. But I just used this very caref uh, careful here, and I pulled out the screws, six screws, as you can see. Get out. Oh, you gotta watch out, you don't scratch the disc. Now, I already pulled out all the screws, so they are not tight because I just left them a little bit tight only. My bad, the video is taking too much, I know. But it has to be done like this. We got two more screws, so we can keep going. One more, that's it. Oh, this one's tight, it sucks. Okay, so we need to pull down this a little bit. Here, my bad, you can't see from this side, but what okay there we go we got it I recommend not doing this with the proper tools because you will fuck the hard drive up more than it is already so not try it out uh, so now we can take this plate off remember to use your plastic gloves I do not have gloves, I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing here, so you can have an idea how to work with a hard drive. And a normal technician is not supposed uh, to fix drives like this. Uh, only experts in data recovery and data repair, hard, just, uh, hard drive repair, uh, are the ones that can play with the hard drives. You cannot use the screwdriver to take out the plates, but I'm going to use it because the plate is already damaged. Ah, uh, not, not the plate, the hard drive. No, that was a bad idea. So let me use toilet paper or something so we can take it out. I don't know, let's do something like this. I'm going to scratch it. There you go. Now from the side in the middle without touching the top of the plate we got the plate off as you can see this is the plate of the hard drive now as you can see here we have another plate around and we got two screws so we can uh, take this out and we can take the other plate out after that, the only thing you need to do in, in the other hard drive, the other same hard drive that you have, is the same thing. You take the plates out and you put uh, the plates that you're going to be working with uh, to recover the data. You can put it back on and just put everything back on, the screws and everything. And you need to test the drive for that. Now, uh, I think that that's all, at least for this tutorial about how to open the hard drive and fix it. 
anyway, this video is fucked up. I didn't make it uh, how it's supposed to, so I don't give a shit about the hard drive. Just, if your hard drive is fucked up, uh, don't try to repair it because you you won't repair the hard drive. You can't repair the hard drive. You won't recover any data. And if the hard drive doesn't turn on, just fuck the freaking hard drive off and just scratch it around like this. And keep scratching and scratching and scratching and more scratching. Just keep scratching the freaking disc and this one too. Oh uh, my! Uh, sorry, buddy. You need to be scratched too. There we go. And if you still want to get rid of the freaking hard drive, just use a freaking hammer like this. And there you go. Just go to the fucking store and buy a new fucking hard drive. There you go. Now we have the hard drive already fixed. It's going to the freaking trash. Bye bye. Uh, I just forgot. Uh, you can use the hard drive for something else. If you're gonna throw it to the trash, at least use it for your dog as a plate. You can use it for water, like this. Or you can use it for his food. Let's say like this. There we go, so I'm gonna give this to my dog so he can, he can eat something and shut the fuck up because he was barking uh, when I was making the freaking tutorial. I just hope he swallows the freaking hard drive. If you still wanna fix your hard drive, proper method for that, there we go. I'm gonna try it out. Okay.